As it turned out, the Ravel PT boat's been one project that just kept on giving. Rather than a magnum opus effort, the point was just a review of how the kit went together. So when it came time for paint, I used it as an opportunity to do a little playing around. What I got from the experience was a lot more than what I bargained for. Ever since the first airbrushing videos that I put up on my Outside the Box channel, I've received numerous questions and comments from modelers asking for additional information, advice or help with an air painting problem, or wanting to know my recommendations on what airbrush or spray gun to purchase. In all honesty, an individual's range of experience and proficiency can be so great, and unless I'm looking over the person's shoulder, there's very little pertinent advice that I can give. The other side of the equation are my own assumptions of what I consider basic knowledge. All the stuff that you learn over the years and take for granted. You forget that at one point you didn't know that stuff either. Quite often when you've been doing something for a long time, there are tools and techniques that you just know work best, but you can't always remember how or why you know. Many of those details just get lost in the journey. So when it came time to paint the PT boat for the review, I decided to turn the clock back and retrace my steps, and assume both roles as the novice and the old hand. The different perspective proved quite enlightening. Besides generating a lot of cleanup by dragging out a bunch of airbrushes, the process revealed some holes in my previous material. As a result, I redid the airbrushing for Modeler's 101 web pages to provide a more comprehensive and orderly source for information about air painting scale models. I'm still working on some new pages about troubleshooting. Since many people prefer information in a visual format, I needed a few additional videos. The two previous ones on how an airbrush works and paint, and the latest two, how an airbrush works part two, and details about the Iwata LPH-80. I hope between the textual and video material that I've filled in the gaps, and there'll be enough information to cover the gamut from airbrush function, use, and troubleshooting, along with airbrush choice and my specific personal favorites. <laughs>